foremost, Thanksgiving revolves around three things, traveling, eating, and if you're not doing either of that, you're probably doing a lot of waiting. That's right. No better way to fill your spare time than binge watching some shows. So here to help us decide the best ones to watch this Thanksgiving is TVGuide.com editor-in-chief Mickey O'Connor and CBS News contributor Jamie Wax. Gentlemen, thank you so much for this. I think Thanks. this is going to be such good information for me. I have so much to catch up on. Good. Good. Yeah. We're here to help. So, so Mickey, let's get straight to the list. Sure. It's interesting here. You, uh, your top 10 streaming list. What did you choose? Well, I think that the first thing that I chose is Empire um, on Fox. Uh, it's a great um, piece of, you know, disposable. <laughs> Delicious. You know, yeah. <laughs> candy. Yes. Um, is it the cranberry sauce? <laughs> right, right. It's, it's, a, it's, a lot, it's a lot of fun. It's really great performances. The music is really good. Um, and, you know, and I think that it, it's, um, it's crazy. I mean, I think it, it sort of defies <laughs> logic. And, you know, and I think that sometimes that's the best TV. Oh, I love Empire. Yep. You have uh, Catastrophe. Yeah, which I don't think yeah. a lot of people would have heard about. It's a, small, it's a small show. It aired in the UK on BBC, and it, um, it's kind of a romantic comedy. It's only six episodes. It's on Amazon. Amazon bought the rights to it in the U.S. Um, Rob Delaney, who's an American comedian, a lot of people know him from Twitter, he's really active on Twitter, um, plays a businessman who's in London and he kind of has a, a, a brief affair with a British woman who ends up pregnant. And so that's what the catastrophe is in the title. They decide so to try to make it work. Well, then? <laughs> they, just, they decide to try to make it work. Doesn't and work. basically everything that could go wrong goes wrong. It's very funny, it's very sweet, and it's also very real. It's not it's not it's not one of those jokey romantic comedies that you're like, none of this would ever happen. It's very realistic. It's great. All right. So Jamie, can we talk about your list? At the top of your list you have narcos, sure. which I think is probably like the turkey as opposed mm. to the the marshmallow <laughs> topping it is, that's on right. the... It's, it's the turkey with an explosive device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, it's heavier, that is what I'm up. saying. Yeah. It is. I mean, it's the story of Pablo Escobar and the Medellin cartel. Mm -hmm. And it, it is really good for people who need a fix after The Sopranos is gone <laughs> and after Breaking Bad is gone. Oh. It's very violent. And, and what makes this fascinating to me are the performances, for sure. I think in many cases in this show, the performances outshine the writing and uh, the fact that it's based on a true story. It's really, really kind of riveting and mm -hmm. a great show to watch in binge fashion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what, else do you, you, what else do you have on here? You, Transparent, that's another Amazon one. Uh, Transparent is Amazon, yeah. that's right. Uh, and that's, uh, again, for the performances and the content. So many people in America are fascinated by transgender issues and this new thing that has come to middle America mm -hmm. as far as uh, the news of the year. This is a great opportunity to watch something that was created by a woman who's telling her personal story of her family, yeah. and Jeffrey Tambor is is fantastic. Yeah, a lot show. of critical acclaim awards. Absolutely, this is a good one. Yeah. What about uh, really quickly the Jim Gaffigan show? Because you know, if you're a cord yeah. cutter, how do you watch that? Yeah. Well, you can watch Jim Gaffigan show streaming on Hulu. You can watch every episode of the first season. I really like it. I think it's got a lot of the qualities of, of Louis C.K.'s show, but for people who have a sort of gentler uh, taste, it is something that you could watch with your family. This this show. There was a couple of moments that uh, <laughs> might go over the kids' heads. But for Thanksgiving watching, when the kids are home, uh, the Jim Gaffigan show that first season is a really fun thing to stream. Also, when we talk about streaming, a lot of times we think about our dramas. But what's great is you can t absorb these little half-hour dramas in 22, 24-minute bites and, and really get into a show in a deeper way by the end of your watching. See, that's what I was going to ask both mm -hmm. of you guys. How do you determine what is bingeable? Like, what's the criteria? Well, I mean, I think, I think, I mean, I hate to say this because I don't want it to sound biased, but I think that the shows that were created for streaming services are often constructed to be more bingeable. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, they often, you know, end each episode on a really uh, strong cliffhanger mm -hmm. that makes you want to go on to the next one. I mean, I think that, um, you know, network television obviously knows how to do that as well as we know, but, um, but I think that, that that's often... Um, the case with with you know Netflix, Amazon, Hulu originals um, yeah. is that they often have that built into the the structure of the show. I think the measure of bingeability is how miserable would you be if you had to wait a week between <laughs> right, each episode. Exactly. That's right. a good measure. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Can't stop. Can't stop. All yeah. right, Jamie Wax and Mickey O'Connor. Thank you so much. We have a lot of streaming to do. Happy yeah, we binging. Do. Yeah. Binging. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. <laughs>